Hey friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four in the upcoming school year, which for us will start in August. Um, a, we will have an eighth grader, a fourth grader, a kindergartner, and a preschooler. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you um, something, a resource for my upcoming fourth grader. We may or may not invite um, Big Sister along for some of these. Um, I don't know if she's going to need like the reinforcement or not. So um, she may come along, she may not. But what we're going to be looking at today is um, Michael Clay Thompson. I have been kind of going back and forth on this for a while. Um, if you don't know, we had been using pinwheels and we love pinwheels, love it, love it, love it. But it is designed for like um, kindergarten, first, maybe into second grade. Um, and that, my child will be going into fourth grade. And so while we had planned to do level four of pinwheels, um, we did start pinwheels a little bit later. She was a little having a, you know, just, she wasn't really into it yet. And, and so um, we had started it a little bit later and because she was going into fourth grade, she felt like it was kind of a little too baby for her. Um, and I can respect that because it is designed for, you know, a few grade levels lower than where she is at now. And once she finally got it, you know, once it finally clicked for her, she really took off. And she really is more towards that fourth grade level now rather than that second grade level. So, um, so I respected her wishes on that and decided to try something new. But that came with, what are we going to try? Um, because everything I had tried with older sister, I didn't really love. We had tried, um, which all about reading wouldn't have been, it would have been more along the lines of like the age group of pinwheels. So that's not something I would have looked at anyways, but we just don't, it just doesn't work for us here. Um, but we had tried logic of English. That didn't really work for us either. Um, and so I have been piecemealing things together like um, Brave Brave Writer and um, Fix It Grammar and some spelling, um, sequential spelling is what we had been using, but we'll be using something new. Um, and so I hadn't really found anything that I loved, but looking at Michael Clay Thompson, I was like, you know, this might be something that works well for her, um, but the price tag, guys, the price tag. My battery is gonna die, so I've got to switch it out, even though it said it was fun. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so anyways, Michael Clay Thompson always had this huge um, like sticker shock for me uh, and I was like I just don't know if I can spend that much money on it not knowing if it's something we're going to like. I had heard a little rumor that they would be coming out with a PDF version of their curriculum so I've been holding out and sure enough they did and so they have a, a couple different packages you can get everything in print you can get you know the teacher manual PDF and all the student materials in print um, and then you can get everything in PDF and I think there's one other option. Um, so when I saw that the price was, you know, much, 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 much less to have the PDF version. I can now reuse the workbooks cause I can just print them again. Um, and so that was more in line with what, you know, my, my consciousness or brain was okay with, um, you know, investing into a new program. So today's video, I've said a lot <laughs> before the intro here, but today's video, I'm going to be kind of giving you guys, I've got a, a portion of it printed. So I'm going to kind of be giving you guys like a, an initial thoughts, show you guys how I printed it out. Um, just kind of a look inside out of it, of it before we try it out. And of course I'll be doing update videos along the way to let you know how we are liking it. So I did buy the whole package. Yeah. Um, it came with everything, the instructor's manuals and the student guides, everything in a PDF. Um, there are a lot of books. There are a lot of things um, for this program. So the benefit of buying it in print is that you don't have to do so much printing because um, this is my stack and I'm not even done printing it. Like, because you don't start with everything, you start with one book and then add another book and then add another book. I'm not gonna print everything right now because that's just something I have to store. Um, so I've only printed like the, you know, first few books out of the, the program and that's how big my stack is. So 
but what I have printed so far is the first book um, and how I printed it was something I wanted to um, share with you guys because I did do it a little bit differently I printed out two pages per page so and I also skipped I think I started this is page two and then this is page five and the rest of the document minus the last page because the last page was just like the back of the cover um, so I did do that when I set it up to print it and so now we have two pages on each page and the print I felt like the print let me show you kind of a little bit further I felt like the print was plenty big enough um, and there was not that much on the on the page that printing it this way wasn't really all that terrible this section is a little bit of a small print um, but I can still read it it's not um, and I think this is really meant for the teacher to read anyways the smaller stuff and so I I think it's okay that this is a little bit smaller but most of the pages have these much larger um, text on them so printing two pages to one page was really not much of an issue um, so I printed both the um, student book and the teacher manual so the book the cover is a little bit different but this is the teacher manual for that um, in this double-sided and even in the teacher manual I can still read the things that are in these boxes pretty well I do have um, I am I don't have it yet but I am gonna pick up like one of those little magnifying glasses that you can like just lay on the page just in case I feel like some of this is too small but as you can see this already was I think the documents are like 235 pages so this was already half that was like over 100 pages so I didn't want to be printing like like tons and tons and tons of paper and this just felt more manageable like a good size of a book to be using um, and I think it's totally fine. In the back, they do have the answer keys. I'm trying to find that. Hold on. So the answer keys. Um, so it is still a little, you know, it is a little small, but I feel like if I just get one of those magnifying glasses, I can lay over it, but I can still read it. It's not too hard to read. I would say it's more like a 10 point when you print it in this manner. Um, and so but that just made it much more manageable for me. Like this is a much more manageable size book than printing it out and having 235 pages bound together. The one that I did print out, um, the whole document and like on regular size paper is the um, workbook because I felt like that the you know cutting that in half was not enough space for her to write on so I did print out the workbook as a full workbook and it or a full page um, and it's not that unreasonable as you know it was only like a hundred and something pages so that I felt like was fine um, and I did print out the teacher manual the same way because it's you know not well, apparently I printed two copies of the student workbook, so I'm going to have to go back and print the, um, the, another copy. But if I do decide to have my daughter come along, my older daughter come along with this, I've already got it printed, or I'll just save it for my son because we will probably use, if we like this, we will be using it again. So, um, that is kind of like my initial or like how I set it up how I got ready to for the year and then I'm slowly going to work on printing out the other ones as we need them um because I don't want to have like a ton of stuff lying around um I do have like a system where you you can you know I've shared this before I'll link a video here of like my system um so like I don't want to put all of these in her bin because they're not all going to fit but when we're done with one book I can either store it up on my shelf up here or I do have like like storage bins that I have in a closet that where I put my older curriculum that I don't need right now but will use again for my younger kiddos so I'll probably just bind this and throw it in there if I decide my older daughter is not going to join us um I want to do a few lessons with my younger daughter and see if I think it would be beneficial for my older daughter um but she does fix it grammar and they do different diagramming and I don't want her to get confused. So I'm gonna try it out first with my younger daughter and then if I feel like it would be beneficial for my older daughter, we'll do it with her as well. Um, and so that is how I set it up. I am going to get, maybe give you a little bit of a down view and kind of share with you my initial thoughts on like how I feel so far about the program. 
and then I'll meet you back here at the end. So here is the Grammar Island, and this is a kind of a better, better view of me doing the two. Like I said, this is page two in the printout, and then this is page five. So what I did was like two, comma, and then um, five dash to the last page, the, the page before the last page because I didn't want to waste ink on a, just a back cover. So, um, but this is kind of just a closer view. I haven't bound it yet. I am going to bind it on this side here rather than, you know, this side here um, so that it's more of like a book style, but I just want to kind of give you like a couple of, so as you can see, this page is a little small. I would say it's more like a 10 point. Um, but I'm going to get the magnifying glass to just lay over here to make it a little bit bigger. Um, oh, but we can still read this. It's not too hard to read. Um, and then this is like more of what an average page is, which I think is more than big enough to see. Um, <clears throat> so that it just kind of continues on in that manner. The co full color pages are... Now mine has this, these lines are because my um, machine needs to be cleaned. I haven't cleaned it in a while. Um, and so that is why those lines are there. They don't bother us, we don't really care. These are a little bit hard to read because they're white, but but it's okay. It, I think it's all gonna be fine. Um, and so this is, this is how we printed it. So how are we gonna use it? And you can buy the whole package as a PDF and I believe it's like $244 or something like that. Um, so I felt like that was, while still expensive, very reasonable for something that I'm going to be able to use again and again and again. Um, if I break it up over the three ch children I know I'll use it with, that comes out to much, much less and more along the lines of what I normally spend on a curriculum. So I was comfortable with that. So, but I did buy the whole package, which meant I got the breakdown. Um, and so that is something you can only get when you buy the whole package. That's not like... I wish you could buy it like if uh, I wish you could just buy that charge me for it that's fine um, but so I don't love that you have to buy the whole package to get that but if you do it is there um, and you do get it um, and it does break it down very specifically this is what you do week one this is what you do week two this is what you do week three this is when you add this book this is when you add that book so I'm mostly gonna follow along with that as much as it works for us um, and then so we'll be starting with this book and then we'll add in the building language which is the next one and then I think the next one I don't remember <laughs> um, but it's all laid out for you and so I think I'm gonna follow along as best I can along that guide and as long as that continues to work for us if that doesn't work for us then I will do what does work for us I'll figure out a method maybe it's reading some of this and doing the practice and then reading some more of this and doing a practice maybe that's what works best for us um, I'm not I'm just learning this is just me starting out so I I'm not 100% sure exactly how we're gonna progress along, but that is what we're gonna do. So it does come, um, What I do have this one printed out, that is the music of the hemisphere, so this is poetry, so it does include um, grammar and poetry and some um, building language that has things like vocabulary in it. So. It, it does have multiple components of language arts, which is something that I really like. That's why I loved pinwheels because I didn't have to have, you know, with older sister, we have brave writer for literature and um, learning about, you know, how to write, how, what is good writing. Then we have fix a grammar to learn about grammar. Then we have sequential spelling to do spelling. And then we have a different, we need a different writing program to teach writing. And so I didn't love, like, I don't love, while I love what we're using, I don't love having to piecemeal it together and figure out how to make it work. And I really like making connections in what we're learning. And I feel like when you're doing it like that, it's not all connected. Um, and so while it's working for her and it, you know, it is, it is what it is with her, um, I really loved pinwheels because everything was there for me. Handwriting was there, grammar was there, um, phonics was there, um, writing, I, all, all the things, structures of a story, liter the only thing it didn't necessarily have was like a literature. Um, it does have stories that you read along the way and you learn about story structure, but like I would, the only thing I added on to that was read alouds. Um, and so she would sometimes join us for read alouds with bigger sisters. So, um, 
But so I, I think that I like this because I feel like it has all of those components and they're all being done together. And so they make sense, they make connections. And so that was something I really was, that's one of the reasons why I was really drawn, drawn to Michael Clay Thompson and also justifies the price tag a little bit because it, when you know when I break down what I spend on all the different categories for my older it probably is roughly about the same um, and so but I did want to show you that the PDFs are available now and that you can print them in a kind of economic way and of course you could use these if you guys are a tablet family you guys could use these on your tablet um, we're not a tablet family we like to hold things in our hands and so that's why I went ahead and printed them out but I tried to save a little bit of paper a few trees by printing it out double-sided and that did work it was not too small so I hope this was um, helpful to you or informative to you in some way I know a few other um, homeschoolers here on YouTube have done this kind of a very similar video to this where they're showing you inside and talking to you about how they're going to use it um, and so but I, I hadn't seen anyone yet share with you like the PDF version and what that looks like and and I felt like I wanted to share with you guys that you can print two pages on the same page and it's not overwhelming it's not too small it's not too much text on the page um, and so I did want to share those things with you guys and of course I will be updating you guys along the way once we get going on this and see you know let you know how we feel about it if I feel like it was worth the investment because this was an investment and it did cause me to go over on my budget so I will be sharing um, an update on my budget later on like how I'm um, Shauna over at Making Everyday Magic usually hosts a collab about like what our budget is and then I like to share later on a follow-up on that like how well did I do sticking to that budget um, and so a spoiler alert this year I went over but I have good reasons and I'll share those in that video so I think that's all I'm going to share with you guys today. If you guys have any specific questions that you'd like me to answer, go ahead and drop them down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer the best I can. I will say that I was a little confused about um, how the, like what would come in print and what would come in um, PDF, the way that it, like the statements were, but I gave them a quick call. Somebody answered my phone call right away, answered my questions super efficiently, and I mean, I at the end of a two-minute phone call, all my questions were answered, um, and I felt comfortable moving forward with the, the, the what I wanted, um, knowing what I want, which package I wanted to buy. So they are super helpful over there. If you have questions, go ahead and give them a ring, but feel free to ask here, and I'll see if I can answer them for you as well. I think that's it so while you're down there I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel ring that notification bell and give this video a thumbs up don't forget you can always follow us over on Instagram at homeschoolology and I hope you'll come back and chat with me again soon and I'll talk to you guys later bye